what is going on everybody this is sharp here and uh just doing a little quick video so if you play a rust you know eventually your base is going to get raided it's going to happen from time to time you know people are going to come along there's going to be bigger groups there's always a bigger fish in this game well my best advice to you is if you have a big base have a little small tucked away backup base just a little two by two or something you know enough materials in here to start you up with a new base I mean, it's nothing big and fancy. You could honeycomb it if you want, but I got a little airlock on it, you know, nice walls so no naked could come along and just break in. But uh, I'll show you a little setup I got here and see what you think. I'll try to get the most storage out of it and still have everything functioning in there that I need to get fired back up for another base. You can always put random things outside if you need to, but... So as soon as you walk in, you got your furnaces blasting. You want to have those things running all the time. Get all your metal up, get your sulfur up, all that good stuff. You're going to need to get back on your feet as soon as possible. You got your grill so you can cook your food, you know, fridge full of stuff, building materials, random things, you know, clothing, guns, armor. I mean, just a simple base like this is only 398 a day. Super cheap. If you honeycomb it, you might push a thousand. If you got a tier three in your main base, you want to put your tier two over here. So you got, you know, something to work. You ain't got to go all the way from tier one. It's just a pain in the ass. Y'all know how it goes. Have your sleeping bags here so you and your buddies can respawn, you know, not too far away from the main base. Have a couple rugs or something. I mean, just sitting right here, you can hit a hundred comfort. No issues. There it is, a hundred percent. You eat some food, you know, take care of your... Oh, let's see here. There you are, 100% comfort. Your health will automatically generate on its own back to 100. You ain't even got to really eat all the food, but I just, you know, do whatever. Have a couple backup guns, you know, some meds, building materials, nice little chunk of sulfur. You don't want to keep all your eggs in one basket, you know what I'm saying? Just have a little something, you know, for a rainy day, and it'll pay off. Now, location-wise, it's kind of hard to say. You know, I don't know where you guys are at in the map and what you all, you know, what your style is, but for me... I like to have my backup base away from everybody in a little cut somewhere where you can't quite see it from the main road or you have to go looking for it. You're not just going to ride by and see it on accident. But that's all I got for today. Um, if you like it, you know, drop some comments. Tell me what you think. If, uh, you know, if you got any recommendations or if you want to show me some of your base builds, just get a hold of me. That's all for today, folks.